turns out there are still some honest folks around. Oklahoma traveler Scott Thompson found a loyal bunch in Loyal. On one of those mornings when winter doesn't seem to want to hand things off to spring quite yet, Dave Ricewig's headlights are the first to pierce the darkness in Loyal. It's getting close to five, and Dave's got to get the coffee on. And the TV. It looks bad, which is why the policy was changed four years after it was begun. Then he can sit down, relax, and wait for the others. Alfred Teeter's driving up. You know everybody's pickup sound, see? <laughs> Alfred's been milking this morning, so he's a little late. <sighs> you know, it really could have quit raining at about two inches. The coffee's going good by the time Bill McAllister shows up, and Tom Liebel, and Terry Stewart, who's been mayor of Loyal for 27 years. Uh, nobody else wants it. Now, there's nothing out of the ordinary about fellas getting up before the sun and meeting at the cafe. It's just that none of these guys owns the place. But each of them has a key to the front door. Probably nowhere else would it work. Uh, it started a long time ago, giving out keys to this place. It was Jim Turner who began handing out keys to oil field workers so they could have a warm place to sit and a hot cup of coffee. When Jim passed away, his wife, Coraletha, kept up the habit. She didn't want to get up and come down here and have to have coffee made for us. And we need a place to loaf or gather up, and so we all come down here. It's kind of a local badge of honor to be trusted with a key to Turner's Cafe. It all started when something broke down in here, so I had to work on it. So she gave me a key so I could get in. She said, well, just keep it. Nobody's supposed to have your key but you. You're not supposed to loan it or let anybody else use it. And it's quite clear only men seem to need or want a key. Uh, especially my wife has come and drank coffee. She said, want to find out what's so important here in the morning, she knows. <laughs> that only lasted one yeah, day. Yeah, that only lasted one day because she took a lot of ribbon and I took more, you know. But <laughs> As the third pot of coffee is inaugurated and the second hand sweeps past 6.30, the real owner of this place shows up. I'm going to learn what that a key. <laughs> Coraletha's been in the cafe business for 41 years. But after a while, she came to realize she could either trust the townsfolk with keys or wear herself out serving them. So she handed out the keys. Well, I have um, 25 out right now. There have been as many as 56 keys in circulation. Coraletha keeps track of them on the back of an envelope. You'll notice John Curtis has two. Because he has two pickups and his daughter drives one of them. <laughs> do you like to do background checks on them or? Uh... Nothing. These kids I've known, some of these in here, I've known since they were babies. <laughs> and at night or on weekends or even if Coraleva's busy in the kitchen, key holders can still pick up a honey bun or potato chips or cigarettes. Just write it down and bring the money by when you get a chance. The running tabs are kept behind the counter. This is just... Put this down to me, George. Okay. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Breakfast on the house at least until the calendar page turns. Like I said, the first of the month, I start telling them, hey guys, I gotta have some money. <laughs> and they, they grab their checkbooks and come right on. They'll start coming in now and getting up. By the time the sun struggles out of bed, the cast at Turner's has turned over again. <laughs> what you gonna have this morning, Bob? French toast. French toast. Okay, I think we can handle that. The Coraletha gets her first chance to dirty the griddle. I don't measure anything. I'm, 
My mother taught me to cook, and I just, I just cook. Bob Barr, the retired Methodist minister, eats every meal here, yet he's one of the few without a key, and that's fine by him. I don't need one. <laughs> you know why? I wouldn't want to have to feed all these fellas. Well, just keep the coffee coming and they'd be happy. Here where Loyal posts its pictures of the grandkids. And a fella's word is as good as his breakfast. Where townsfolk hold the keys to Coraletha Turner's life's work. And honesty and trust always have a place at the table. Everybody says, oh, how can you give keys out? I said, well, because I have good customers. In Loyal, Scott Thompson, the Oklahoma Traveler. I love wow. that. That's Isn't that refreshing? Nice. Small nice. town. Yeah, so. That's really nice. And I don't blame her for not getting up so early. Me either. And <laughs> cooking everybody's breakfast. No, now, we have some loyal visitors. Yeah. Some These fifth graders mm -hmm. from? From Sepulpa, Washington Elementary Hello School. Hello, everybody. Top students. You can tell a fine-looking bunch there. Good night.